I believe it's unconstitutional. We will fight it. Reassurance tonight from Mayor Tony Harp after President Trump signs orders to clamp down on immigration and defund sanctuary cities. A protest against Trump's orders just about to get underway. Right now, this is a live shot that you're looking at right there in New Haven. New Haven was one of the first sanctuary cities in our country. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. A lot of illegal immigrants in, in Connecticut and New Haven, specifically students who are still in school, say they're worried about what President Trump's actions will mean for their future. News 8's Noelle Gardner, live force in New Haven tonight with more. Noelle? Darren and Ann, Unidad Latina and Acción, along with other organizations outside the steps here at City Hall protesting tonight. They say they want unity and they're calling for unity with immigrants and refugees here in New Haven. If you want to uh, make your dream come true, if you want to be a contributing member of our community, you are welcome here. Comforting words coming from Mayor Tony Harp after President Trump signed orders to clamp down on illegal immigration and cut funding to sanctuary cities. New Haven, which is a sanctuary city, is taking additional steps to protect residents. Harp speaking about the sanctuary cuts. I believe it's unconstitutional. We will fight it. Mayor Harp says the city of New Haven prides itself on being a welcoming city recognizing all of its residents, no matter where they came from. If they move forward and do it, that it really is a constitutional matter. I've instructed my corporation counsel to take a look at what it is that we do to protect the citizens. Organizations fighting for immigrants are urging President Trump not to punish sanctuary cities. Others include Hartford and the town of Wyndham. Connecticut is also a sanctuary state, offering protection to residents. We also have driver's licenses, institutional aid. So the state of Connecticut has also taken measures to protect its residents and to um, allow for a dignified life. Ana Maria Riviera Forasteri says there are about 200,000 undocumented immigrants living in Connecticut. Immigrants pay taxes, they build businesses, they have their families here, they're part of our community. So there is this misconception that immigrants supposedly drain our system when really they're contributing to our system and for the most part not really getting a lot out of it. Immigrants are fearful of what the future may hold for them. We live in this community and uh, nobody, nobody is not right to live in fear. And a live look right now at the steps of City Hall, undocumented workers, as well as residents who live and work here in the sanctuary city are calling for unity tonight. We'll be live again at 6 o'clock with an update. I'm live tonight in New Haven. Noel Gardner, News 8. Okay.